Hi, let me tell you today's tale. Once upon a time in a land far, far away, there were pirates. These weren't your regular pirates though. They were known as the cookie cutter pirates because they had a secret cookie recipe that was so delicious, it could make anyone smile, even grumpy old Captain Grimbeard. Captain Grimbeard was the meanest pirate of them all. He had a long, scruffy beard that reached all the way to his toes, and he never smiled. He had heard about the legendary cookie cutter pirates and their magical cookies, so he set out to steal their recipe for himself. One sunny day, Captain Grimbeard's ship, the scurvy shark, sailed towards the island where the cookie-cutter pirates hid their treasure, including the secret cookie recipe. The cookie-cutter pirates were busy baking cookies when they spotted the scurvy shark on the horizon. Captain Kokolatekip, the leader of the cookie-cutter pirates, knew they had to protect their precious recipe. He gathered his crew, which included Sprinkle Sally, Crunchy Joe, and Jelly Bean Jack, and they prepared to defend their island. As the scurvy shark drew near, Captain Chocolate and his crew launched their cookie cannons. Instead of cannonballs, the cannons shot out chocolate chip cookies, oatmeal raisin cookies, and even frosted sugar cookies. The pirates on the scurvy shark couldn't resist trying the cookies, and they soon forgot all about their mission. Meanwhile, Captain Grimbeard couldn't help but smile as he bit into a warm, gooey chocolate chip cookie. The magic of the cookie cutter pirates' cookies had worked and he became the happiest pirate on the high seas. He decided to abandon his quest for the secret recipe and joined forces with the cookie-cutter pirates. Now, the pirates sailed the seas together, sharing their delicious cookies with all the people they met. They became famous for their kindness and their wonderful cookies, and they were loved by everyone. One day, as they approached a new kingdom, they were met by the king's daughter, Princess Sweetie Pie. She had heard of their legendary cookies and begged them to teach her how to make them. Captain Chocolate agreed and taught the princess the secret recipe. The princess was overjoyed and shared the cookies with her kingdom. The cookies made everyone so happy that they declared a grand celebration. And at the royal ball, it was Princess Sweetie Pie who had the biggest smile of all. The tale of the cookie-cutter pirates and the kind-hearted Captain Grimbeard spread far and wide. The pirates were no longer feared but adored, and they sailed the seas, spreading happiness and delicious cookies wherever they went. And as for Princess Sweetie Pie, she shared the secret cookie recipe with the prince she met at the ball, and together they ruled their kingdom, making it the happiest place in all the land. The kingdom ruled by Princess Sweetie Pie and her prince, whom she lovingly called Prince Charming, was filled with joy and laughter. The secret cookie recipe became a symbol of their kingdom's prosperity, and the people lived in harmony, sharing their magical cookies with all who visited. Over the years, their realm flourished, and their kindness was known far and wide. Travelers from distant lands came to experience the happiness that permeated the kingdom. They marveled at the stunning cookie gardens that Princess Sweetie Pie had cultivated, with rows upon rows of sugar cookie roses and chocolate chip cookie bushes that glistened in the sunlight. One day, a messenger from a neighboring kingdom arrived with news that a terrible dragon was terrorizing their land. Princess Sweetie Pie and Prince Charming knew they had to help. They baked an enormous batch of their magical cookies, and with the assistance of the reformed cookie-cutter pirates, they set out on a grand adventure. As they approached the dragon's lair, they could hear the rumbling growls and see the smoke billowing from its nostrils. The dragon was fierce, but the smell of the freshly baked cookies was irresistible, even to a dragon. It lowered its head, and Prince Charming placed a warm, gooey chocolate chip cookie into its giant mouth. The dragon's fiery breath turned into a happy, warm breeze, and it transformed into a friendly, cookie-loving dragon. With their new dragon friend, they returned to the neighboring kingdom, bringing joy and cookies. The people were amazed and grateful, and they celebrated the dragon's transformation with a grand feast featuring the magical cookies. The two kingdoms, once separated by fear, were now united in happiness and friendship. The cookie-cutter pirates, now seasoned adventurers, continued to explore new lands, bringing smiles and cookies to everyone they met. They even discovered a hidden treasure chest filled with enchanted cookie cutters that could shape cookies into any form imaginable. As for Princess Sweetie Pie and Prince Charming, they ruled their kingdom with love and compassion, spreading happiness throughout the land. 
Their love for each other and for their people only grew stronger with each passing day. One day, news of the remarkable kingdom ruled by Princess Sweetie Pie and Prince Charming reached the ears of a wandering sorcerer named Sorbet the Wise. Sorbet was known for his magical abilities and his insatiable curiosity. He decided to visit the kingdom, drawn by the rumors of its extraordinary happiness. Upon arriving at the kingdom, Sorbet was immediately welcomed with open arms. The people of the realm were eager to share their stories and their cookies with him. Sorbet, with his keen interest in magic, was fascinated by the secret cookie recipe that had brought such joy to the land. He spent weeks in the kingdom, studying the recipe, experimenting with various ingredients and enchantments. With the knowledge he had gained from the cookie cutter pirates and the royal couple, Sorbet created a brand new type of cookie, unlike any other. These cookies not only brought happiness but also had the power to grant wishes to those who ate them. Sorbet presented his magical wish granting cookies to Princess Sweetie Pie and Prince Charming. With a simple bite, they made a wish to share the joy and magic of their kingdom with the entire world. Instantly, their wishes came true. The cookies, when shared, spread not only happiness but also the fulfillment of dreams. People who tasted these magical treats found their fondest desires coming to life. The news of these extraordinary cookies traveled far and wide, and travelers from all over the world flocked to the kingdom, each bringing their dreams and wishes. The kingdom became a place of dreams and aspirations, a land where people helped one another achieve their goals, no matter how big or small. The magical cookies brought love, peace, and prosperity to all who visited. Sorbet the Wise continued to experiment with his magical recipes, inventing cookies that could do remarkable things like heal the sick, mend broken hearts, and bring laughter to the most solemn of faces. With his ever-expanding repertoire of magical cookies, the kingdom became a sanctuary of hope and wonder. As the years passed, the tale of the kingdom with the magic cookies spread throughout the lands. People came from near and far, inspired by the beautiful story. They wanted to create their own kingdoms filled with happiness and cookies that could make dreams come true. And so, the magical cookies created by Sorbet the Wise, the love of Princess Sweetie Pie and Prince Charming, and the adventures of the cookie-cutter pirates continued to influence the world, reminding all that happiness, kindness, and a touch of magic can make the world a better place. As the fame of the magical kingdom continued to spread, it caught the attention of a young and daring explorer named Emily. She had heard about the kingdom's extraordinary cookies and the wonderful stories of wishes coming true. Emily had always dreamed of embarking on her own grand adventure, so she set out to find this legendary place. On her journey, Emily faced many challenges. She crossed dense forests, climbed treacherous mountains, and sailed across vast oceans. Along the way, she met friends who shared her dream of visiting the magical kingdom. Together, they formed a close-knit group known as the Dream Seekers. Finally, after months of adventures and hardships, Emily and her companions arrived at the kingdom of Princess Sweetie Pie and Prince Charming. They were welcomed with open arms and joined in the joyous celebrations. Emily was in awe of the magical cookies and the happiness that filled the land. Princess Sweetie Pie, seeing the determination and spirit of Emily and the Dream Seekers, invited them to stay and become part of the kingdom. Emily was touched by the offer but knew that her heart's desire was to continue exploring and discovering new lands. Before leaving, Emily asked Princess Sweetie Pie for a single wish-granting cookie. She wished for the world to be filled with kindness, happiness, and dreams coming true for everyone. The wish-granting cookie glowed with a radiant light, and Emily felt a surge of warmth and hope in her heart. The Dream Seekers bid farewell to the magical kingdom and set off on their next adventure, carrying with them the hope and magic of the cookies. As they traveled, they shared their wish-granting cookie with people they met along the way. Acts of kindness, dreams realized, and laughter filled the world. Over time, the Dream Seekers' journey inspired others to embark on their own adventures, spreading kindness and joy to every corner of the world. The world became a place where people helped one another achieve their dreams and where laughter and smiles were abundant. The magical cookies and the legacy of Princess Sweetie Pie, Prince Charming, Sorbet the Wise, and the cookie-cutter pirates continued to influence the hearts and minds of generations to come.
The world was forever changed by the tales of this magical land, a place where pirates, princesses, and dreamers made dreams come true for all. And so, the tale of the dream seekers and their mission to spread happiness and kindness became a timeless story, reminding us all that dreams can come true if we dare to explore, believe, and share our joy with the world. The End